How's it going, nerds? Bo Hunter back with another video. Very exciting. Oh, my God. I am more excited for this than I have been for something in a long time. I like how it does this. Um, in here are some cool toys I think you might really enjoy, judging by how successful some of my past videos on this toy line has been. Uh, this is – I just saw this announced uh, and or tweeted out, whatever. I think I saw a – I think I saw a um, – just like an individual tweet about this and the company who makes these toys um, uh, t retweeted it. And I was like, wait, what? And it was, of course, Snapships. These are a new line of small – this is my first look at them, so this is very exciting – of small Snapship toys – that from what I'm reading, I haven't read them all. I haven't read up completely on it. From what I'm reading, are uh, a new line of kind of like smaller little kits. I think these were five or six. I think they were six each um, of smaller uh, toys with um, a, some parts and stuff that um, they thought would be handy to have uh, for building. Because there's a lot of parts that people have been asking for. They they could use just unique parts and. Um, these, I guess they created these for that reason. Uh, I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. These, I think we already have. Oh, this is a neat shooter thing. Um, these are just the new, uh, there's six of them, I believe. Five. Coming from each, um, oh, I'm excited about that one. Coming from each uh, uh, faction. Uh, so that's the good guys. Let's see how many. I bought them all. I, I, I went on to play Monster's site. And uh, bought them all. Assault drone. That is awesome. I love this part here. Um, put them all in one in one uh, uh, cart. Checked out immediately. And I got these probably, I want to say, in like five days or so. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that's going to be your speed, so do not quote me on that. But for me, I got them really, really quick. Oh, look at that. Real rotating launchers. Pew, pew, pew. Got to make those sounds when you play with that one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of – I'm not really going to unbox them here. I'm just going to uh, show you the boxes and then I'm going to go build them, take a pause, and come back and show you all of them. Uh, if I don't know if you can see. You probably can't see it, but my Snapship box is up on a couple shelves above that in the background. That's my toy shelves, uh, toys and parts and stuff. Um, oh, this one I was really excited for, the, the Walker Biped Mech. I don't know that the legs actually move. I don't think they do, but still, that's a fantastic part. I think a lot of people will enjoy playing with that. Um, I haven't started painting the one model I was building, uh, recently. I built a giant model and I haven't started painting it yet because that's a heck of a project. And I'm kind of just, I'm enjoying just playing with snapships. These are fantastic. Look at those legs. Those are really cool. Um, I'm, I just love playing, you know, they're just, it's such, it's been such a, a great line. It was so fun to see the independent line grow. Uh, get featured and seemingly do pretty well. They seem to be selling quite a bit. Um, according to the official Snapships, they uh, tweeted at me and said you can actually pre-order or order three packs, I believe it is, on Amazon. So if you've bought yours off of Amazon before, go on Amazon, uh, click on Snapships or search for Snapships, and you should find them under this, I believe, the Play Monster store. I got these from the Play Monster site directly. Play Monster, I guess, is their distributor, and it came to me in no time. At Play Monster, I've had a lot of great experience with just ordering, and it gets here. Pew. I think they're based in the U.S. maybe, so maybe that's why they got here fast. But let's do this. I'm going to go stop here. I'm going to go build these. It might take a couple hours or whatever. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to review each one. So give me just uh, to you what is a second. Real quick, as I was uh, building these, I wanted to show you what the inside looked like, you, the, the, the size of the bag. Um, the, the instructions are this uh, poster style instead of like a uh, booklet. So really cool. Everything's laid out. I, I really like how Snapships has followed like a Lego style instruction booklet where I love that. I love that morning. Look at that. <laughs> um, where it's just simple big easy to see it's also good i know this sounds silly but i'm 40 something years old now so and i've never had great eyes this is good for people who don't have the best eyesight either so this is really important to have these great big nice and steps instructions so let's continue building okay and done 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you uh, show you all of them one at a time and let you judge for yourself which is the coolest. I love all of these. These are fantastic. They took no time to build. Instructions, of course, were fantastically uh, simple, which is good. And I like I'll show this. I like how the boxes have a display kind of feature. Now the uh, the, the the larger Snapchat boxes, of course, have the amazing cover that you can you can actually break off and um, snap. You know, you take away from the box and use that as a stand. Fantastic idea. I love I love any type of stand system put in a toy because people collect toys more nowadays. It's more of a thing. So you know, it's good to have a way to display them. This is the DA sixty three turbine drone thing. I love these. Every one of them has this little play feature here or has a similar type of play feature with like a shooty thing. So again, you know, you might want to, uh, if you get these for your kids, do be aware of these because these are, I know this sounds like an old man thing, but do be careful with this stuff. Um, cats can ingest, just, just keep an eye out. Don't be silly about it. Um, fantastic little model. I'm going to go through these pretty quick. I've got a little empty box here. I'm going to shoot these so I can demonstrate to see how they work. How do you do it? Oh, geez. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that actually, ah, that's actually pretty darn cool. <laughs> so you'll probably lose these. Just keep that, keep, keep that in mind. I'm going to set this one to the side and I'm going to keep going here. That was a turbine drone. This is, of course, everybody was excited about this one. The, the little, uh, what was this here? The, uh, BP 48 biped mech. Just because of the legs, you can imagine using those in all sorts of builds. Imagine buying four or five of these things, and you'd have four or five pairs of legs. Very, very, very cool. I, the legs do not bend like I thought in a minute, but that's it's fine. It's a small thing, and you want them to kind of remain stiff like this, so it'll easy to stand up. It's going to stay that way on your shelf if you want to do it. Now, this one has a little firing system. Let's see if I can do this well. You push down, and it should fire them. Let's see here. Uh, 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 oh, Wow. Those have a pretty good pop to them. So again, really do be careful with that, but fantastic new part. I mean, I, you probably, I mean, this is just asking for fun, like setting up little targets and shooting at them. So good, so good so far. Uh, that, the biped mech is probably my favorite. Of course, I'm a mech person, you know, so. Uh, but these ships are really neat too. Uh, RL-55 assault drone. This one's interesting because it has this rotating firing mechanism on the front. Again, some fun parts. I like these, what I'm calling like greeble type parts here that they're given and a lot of the, a lot of the snap ships have a lot of that, but they, I'm glad they're adding more because when you big, build something large, you see all the holes, you know, of the snap ship blocks and it's good to have stuff to kind of block those holes. Uh, let's see how this one works. You rotate it. Let me make sure I hit the target here. That works well. Look at that. I've got these all over my floor now. My dog is asleep, so she won't. She's not the type to ingest stuff, but you never know. So that one is cool too. Let's move on to the uh, to the claw people. Um, what do you call them? I forget what this faction is called. Why am I forgetting all of a sudden? K dive ambush drone. They're always like evil sounding. This one's interesting because it's like a cool uh, um, dragonfly style, like this. But to get the gun to work, you have to put the wings down. It's that's fine. You of course you can easily replace this. And of course it rotates as well. Good looking model. Um, the only problem I have with the black stuff, the claw ones, is the details are a bit lost, but that's good for people like me who might uh, just take a dry brush to that and it would just pop like crazy and then maybe wash it. Um, so it's great for people who want to customize toys, but if you just want a good looking toy, you can still see the details. Uh, you can see here reflected in the light, but the black kind of hides some of it. So. But let's test this one out. That is the, like I said, the K-Dive Ambush Drone. Let's test fire these. These are kind of scary, man. I mean, that's shooting the <laughs> Interesting mechanism for shooting, too. I'm not quite sure how that works. I'd have to, have to check it out. I guess as you push it, it makes a little... It, I don't know. I'll, I'll look more into that. I guess it pushes against that area there. Fantastic. Fantastic. This was another of my favorite. I like anything more with the walking stuff, any legs type things. K crawler suppression mech. Of course, great, great names here. Is whoever's doing their names, fantastic. Um, it, again, the legs don't move independently, but you could use those as claws. Just to make a small mech type thing, these are really, really handy. There's not enough mechy type, you know, leg things in snap ships, but they are ships. They're not snap, 
mix, you know, so that's understandable. But it's so it's been it's it's nice to have also this scale. You could build a drop ship, or whatever, and this scale fits the mix fit with it and still feel large and you know impressive and all that stuff. But the scale is still right. So let's try this one. This one was I think didn't I just push it? How did I do this one here? Oh, you reload it. Okay, because that's a little weaker. But I'm glad because that is a that is a, I love these little mechanisms. Really, really basic kind of interesting mechanisms. That's the next, next walker. And then we have the last ship here, uh, Case Swarm Strike Drone. Um, similar to that earlier one, sim similar to the good guys. But I like that they often reflect each other like that because you have this kind of crossover of the factions like they once knew each other. I need to catch up on the lore, honestly, with, with the snapships. They have videos and everything. Check out their YouTube. Uh, again, really, really cool looking ship. These are going to be all over my floor. I'm going to have to look for every one of these. I, I already vacuumed, so <laughs> luckily I won't do that again. So to sum up, fantastic new little line of toys, snap chips. Once again, uh, where'd the last one go? Knocks it out of the park. They're just, it's just been such a fun fun line for, you know, if you want to collect them, you can do that and keep them in their in their designated design like this. Or you can do what everybody wants to do, which is 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 customize them. I've got just a giant box of snapship parts, and it's one of my favorite things just to sit there and uh, build little things. I wanted to point out that each one came with these amazing parts. I put a post on Reddit saying, if we had more of these parts right here, we could build so many more interesting things, or at least make things that we build a little more sturdy. I don't know if they saw that post. It seemed to be... A, have a couple comments. Maybe they saw that, or maybe they were already planning it. I know, I don't know, but they gave one of these with each one, just an ex extra little part. Fantastic to have those. But I would like to point out they also give you one of these each. While these tools are great, that you know to pry off the, it's a removal tool. I'd like to point out that you get one with each snap ship thing, so you wind up with two trillion of them. I wish they would do something like what Mega Blocks does or, or Lego does and make them something you can actually maybe snap something to. Just a, just a little feedback or whatever. Uh, you know, it's one of the few little feedbacks, feedback, <laughs> pieces of feedback I have. But if it had just maybe, you know, just a little, one of these little parts built in or something like that on either side, you could, I mean, imagine you could use that on, let's say on a mech, you know, as an arm or something. That would be really cool. Um, so great little tool, but I've got six of these now just from these six packs, and I've got nothing to do with them. So, of course, I'll hang on to them. Maybe I'll be able to use those for something someday, an art piece or, you know, whatever. But you really only need one or two because they last forever. So just a point of point of feedback there. Fantastic new snapships. Go check out the new line of miniature uh, kits on, um, on Play Monster or on Amazon. Fantastic. I got all six, and I'm super happy because they are amazing. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.